Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. A moment of great pride, the anthems. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem, now to match it. Poland have gone with what looks like an orthodox 4-4-2, Jim. Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course. So with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And of course, the right service into the box. got things on the way so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture yeah Aidan Dzeko he's a real handful up front Peter and not just because of his height and that physical presence he's got excellent awareness and, and technique and that allows him to bring others into the game he's a very powerful finisher too so he'll be giving defenders a real dilemma about whether to close him down or not I would advise the former yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Piontek. Piontek has a goal! Piontek really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. And it's Pichakic. Whipped in. Koviak. Glick goes looking. It's being played forward. Done very well to intervene. Forward it goes. Krasitsky. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. Koviak plays it forward. Lovely bit of skill. In comes the cross. Koviak. Bosnia have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. The 
Koviak. Glick tries to get it forward quickly. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Has a pop! Goal! Bosnia had to governor! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. A 1-0 lead established. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Krakowiak. Zielinski. Krakowiak. it out wide I think that's a goal kick yes the referee concurs cuts it out Camille click click Krakowiak. Krakowiak drives it forward. And he heaves it forward. Pjanic with a good steal, well played. Hoists it forward. Kolasinac. And it's played forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And the weighted pass. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better. Zielinski and it's Krikowiak yeah, he's fouled in there he knew what was coming that's a yellow card Messing about. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. So we're already into the second period. Poland need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Aimed in towards the centre. 
Besic, who does have an assist to his name. Pjanic. And it's Kolasinac. Just brushed off the ball there. Klich. Krikoviak. Klich. Now it's Lewandowski. He's off. He's gone for it. He scores! They have pulled themselves right back into it. That really is quite fabulous, all his own doing. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, what a convincing response to going behind. They've got all the momentum now. Piontek. Now the counter. Piontek! Oh, just misses past the post. That's just plain unlucky. There were many, me included, who thought that was going in. Bosnia and Herzegovina can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Click. Well, it's looking a lot better for them now, and as long as they don't just get a little bit too cocky about this spell in opposition territory and leave themselves open to a slick counter-attack, they've still got to play with the right purpose and keep an urgency about what they're doing. Besic sticks in a foot to win it back. Looking for a decent ball in. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Well, I'm a believer in having faith in your ability, but he's overdone it then. Klich. Krasicki. Oh, good, goes for goal! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Biontech did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Kolasinac. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Brzezinski. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Knocks it away. Kukoviak. Piontek. Deftly done. Oh, the ball's come loose! Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. Just off target. Massively! Goal! Poland! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Great corner, and he did the rest.
rest. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. I just think this has been a lesson in character, togetherness and composure. I think most teams would have crumbled by now, but this refusal to give up is brilliant. And he's straight offside. Poland are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Keeper sends it forward. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Krakowiak. Oh, that's neat. And it's Krakowiak. Klich. Tries a shot! to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Poland just have to run down the clock. Now it's Grzycki. Grzycki looks to dink one in. Poland certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Besic, Dzeko, Krasicki. Klich. His official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Zielinski. Zielinski battling down that right flank. The defence can get it clear. And that will be the final act. Poland have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character, and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure. So there it is.